in this video we are going to discuss about stp modes so before going to stp modes we have to know that cisco switches will be shipped with the enabled stp but if it is any misconfiguration or if there is any misconfiguration then you can easily enable the stp there but how to enable stp to enable the spanning tree protocol connect to your switch and type this command in a global configuration mode uh, that spanning tree mode and select that mode the following table which will be shown in the next slide will show you what are the versions available and the differences between them and also if you see the current version of ios supports the following modes and defaults the pvst mode here if you see here in the list the comparison of stp versions here you see stp version i triple identifier and the failover interval this gives you the differences between the stp modes so the first one is stp spanning tree protocol given with the identifier of i triple as 802.1d and the failover interval is 30 to 50 seconds that means if you don't receive any message about this stp for 50 seconds from 30 to 50 seconds then it will pop up that some error about the stp in the same way rstp which is rapid spanning tree protocol given the identifier as 802.1w and 6 seconds is the failover interval with 3 hello packets 2 seconds each hello packet and coming to mstp or mst which is multiple spanning tree protocol the identifier is given as 802.1s or 802.1q-2005 and the failover interval is 6 seconds that is 3 hello packets or messages and if you see here pvst per vlan spanning tree protocol it is a cisco proprietary and given the hello intervals as 6 seconds and the last one is rapid per vlan spanning tree protocol and this is a cisco proprietary and given 6 seconds as a failover interval which is 3 hello intervals and this is about the stp modes and the differences among them like comparison between the stp version i triple identifier and failover interval here and this is about the stp modes and their differences